경애하는 김성은 동지께서 정찰위성발사준비원회 사업을 현지에서 지도하셨습니다. No sooner had we reported that North Korean leader Kim Jong-un had been missing for 28 days than he reappeared in public. And while there was nothing about the way he looked to suggest anything had been wrong over the last month, the leader's return to the spotlight does tell us something about the coming weeks, or even days. Images released by state media Wednesday show Kim dressed in what seems to be white lab covers along with his daughter Jue inspecting North Korea's first military reconnaissance satellite a day earlier. The leader reportedly gave the green light for this satellite's future action plan, indicating that we could expect a North Korean rocket launch pretty soon. The North's Korean Central News Agency stated that the satellite is ready for loading after undergoing the final General Assembly check and space environment test. And you can see the satellite itself in this image, or so it appears, cordoned off with him looking on in the background. Clearly, North Korea is taking this very seriously. But why does it matter so much? Kim himself has stressed that the successful launch of the satellite is an urgent requirement in the current security environment, viewing its spy capabilities as an important aspect of countering South Korea and its main military ally, the US. He was also actually quoted as saying, the more desperately the US imperialists and South Korean puppet villains escalate their confrontational moves against North Korea, the more fairly, squarely and offensively it will exercise its right to self-defense to deter them. And we know from past statements that North Korea's targeted spy satellite capabilities as part of a five-year military modernization plan, especially as reconnaissance images that it's released in the past have been criticized in South Korea for their low resolution. Now, some analysts have questioned whether this is even about satellites. North Korea's in the past been accused of using satellite launches as a cover for long-range ballistic missile development. For instance, the US Department of Defense released a statement last year analyzing reconnaissance satellite tests by the North that were conducted in February and March of 2022. The US concluded that those launches involved a new intercontinental ballistic missile system. But if we look at North Korea's missile tests this year, based on external analysis and the North's own reporting, we can see that it has launched a variety of missiles. It made no secret of conducting a first solid fuel ICBM launch last month, its most recent test, having also fired ICBMs in February and March. And we've also seen 24 other short-range ballistic and cruise missiles test fired by the North this year, making for a total of 27 missiles launched across 12 tests between January and April. It doesn't make sense then that North Korea would be making this satellite claim as a pretext for ICBM development, even if there are some overlapping technologies. But then we might ask, just how imminent is the launch? The North didn't provide precise details on the future action plan, but we know that in December last year, Pyongyang said it had conducted an important final stage test at its rocket launching facility for the development of its first reconnaissance satellite. And when Kim was last seen in state media coverage, it was for an on-site visit to North Korea's Space Development Agency on April 18th. Back then, his comments were widely seen as indicating that North Korea would launch a satellite within April. But satellite imagery of the country's Sohe satellite launching station showed no indication of an imminent launch then, although there has been renewed activity around the launch pad area this month. So we're in watch and wait mode, but we will let you know of any further developments when they happen. The best way to stay informed is of course to subscribe to our channel and please click like and share if you want to help us grow and provide even more news from the Korean Peninsula.